Who are Al-Qaeda? Al-Qaeda, to use the Arabic, means the foundation, and it's a network of jihadist organizations that since their inception in 1988 have sought to bring about global jihad as well as a reform in Islam. Their ideology of Islam is called Salafism, a fundamentalist view that seeks to go back to the basics of what's written in the Quran. This itself draws inspiration from the 1950s movement of Qutbism, a reform movement within Islam which thought that Islam had become diluted and was no longer that which the Prophet had espoused and therefore needed reform. The group has its ultimate origin in 1979 in the Soviet-Afghan war in which the USSR invaded Afghanistan to prop up its Marxist regime against various groups of Mujahideen. These were fighters, often Islamists themselves, that continued to struggle against the Soviet occupation. And among these, several foreign fighters also arrived who became known as Afghan Arabs. These came from around 43 different countries to help the Afghans jihad against this atheist regime. In 1989, the Soviets pulled out and soon after the Soviet Union would collapse. One of those who had been coordinating foreign fighters in Afghanistan was Osama bin Laden, and together with a Palestinian Muslim, Abdullah Azam, he created the group in 1988, wanting to continue this working together of international Muslim organizations to start jihad, and this became Al-Qaeda, the base. The real catalyst for Al-Qaeda's modus operandi would come in 1990, however, as Iraqi forces invaded Kuwait, which was incredibly close to Saudi Arabia and Iraq's army dwarfed that of Saudi Arabia. During the Gulf War, when the United States went to war with Iraq, Osama bin Laden had proposed to the Saudi government that his organization, Al-Qaeda, would ensure the protection of the state. But instead, the Saudis turned him down and instead were working together with the Americans who subsequently stationed soldiers in Saudi Arabia. For Osama bin Laden and the rest of the fundamentalist Muslim world, it was unthinkable that there were non-Muslim soldiers inside the land of the two mosques of Mecca and Medina. In 1992, he was banished for his criticism and went instead to Sudan, where there had recently been an Islamist takeover and helped the government there. It's while in Sudan that he planned the first terror attack of the Al-Qaeda group, and this was against a hotel in Yemen where US soldiers were meant to be preparing to enter Somalia. In 1996, he moved again, this time to Afghanistan, where the Taliban had recently taken power for themselves. Finding common folk among the Taliban, he created the 055 Brigade, an elite troop of Al-Qaeda-trained fighters in camps within Afghanistan, just as he had done in the 1980s during the war with the Soviet. It was also in 1996, after Al-Qaeda had stepped in and taken over the global jihad in many parts of the world, including in Chechnya, that he issued a fatwa, basically a declaration of jihad, of war, against the United States and its allies throughout the world. And this they did because they believed this was part of a global conspiracy of the Christian West as well as of international Jewry, and that these were seeking to undermine and destroy Islam, and that is why he declared the fatwa against them. In 1998, the first shots of this war would be fired, when there were two bombs placed at the US embassies in Tanzania and in neighboring Kenya, killing 224 people. In 2000, they attacked a US ship off the coast of Yemen using their operatives in that country, the USS Cole, in which they killed 17 service people. And in 2001, the most infamous attack ever carried out by the group on the 11th of September, thus becoming known as 9-11. This attack killed around 2,000 people and would go down in infamy. This would also lead to the US strong retaliation against the group, which thus far had been restricted to naval bombardments of Afghan bases. And they would demand that the Taliban would hand over Al-Qaeda from whence they had attacked the United States. And when the Taliban refused, the United States, along with several assets on the ground of the Northern Alliance, took over the Afghanistan and ousted the Taliban. But this didn't put an end to Al-Qaeda, even when in 2004, the mastermind behind the 9-11 attack Khalid Sheikh Mohammed was captured. An Al-Qaeda affiliated group carried out an attack in Spain on train. While initially ETA, a Basque separatist group, was blamed, it turned out that this group had been active from Morocco and this led to Spain pulling out of the war in Afghanistan. In 2005, there were attacks on the United Kingdom with the London 7-7 bombings and Al-Qaeda continued to function thanks to its operation of support from Muslim countries who ensured that arms and financing came to the 
with the various groups which had the foundation or the core at its centre, although just how much the core was dictating what the other groups around the world did is a little bit of a mystery, and Osama bin Laden himself was long suspected to have been hiding in Afghanistan, was in 2011 tracked down to the Pakistani city of Abbottabad, and thence he was taken out by the SEAL Team 6, but the second of command, Ayman al-Zawiri, is still alive to this day and continued to run the base of Al-Qaeda moving forwards. In 2014, they would once again be threatened, but this time by another Islamic organization, this being the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria, as many of the groups that had been affiliated to Al-Qaeda around the world switched allegiance to the Islamic State. However, as we have seen, there are still many groups around the world who are claiming their allegiance to, Af to Al-Qaeda and who will continue to fight in their name. And recently, the Taliban takeover of Afghanistan may mean that they will once again have a safe haven in that country from which they can plan their attacks.